Yo, YouTube, you all know know this is your boy T. Jones bringing the good, bad, and the ugly. And I just got done watching this new edition biopic on BT. First of all, BT needs to handle all biopics from now on. They were spot on this whole movie. I didn't even know some of the people that was in this movie was in the movie. Lala was in the movie. She was playing, um, um, one of the, which one member of BB, BBD? I forget, but fuck it. The movie is epic. The music, is, everything is just spot on from the kids to the, how they transition them from kids to teenagers was amazing. So it opens up with, it's kind of like, it opens up with them, like in the trailer show that uh, Bobby Brown, he's performing and they rush him off stage. Then, the Velvet DeVoe comes on, then Bobby gets a water hose, and they cut him. Long story short, fight breaks out, and then you hear the gun cock cock, and a bullet, boom. I don't know who the dude shot, but he shot somebody. But the movie was just, this movie is amazing. Like, And the messed up part about this is Brooks, the manager, um, Bobby Brown, like, like Bobby Brown was shady even as a kid. Like, it, uh, it was just, it was. I can't even talk right now, man. This movie is just that good. I can't even. I can't even talk. People calling me. So anyway, but majority, but the key part I want to talk about this is Brooks, the manager. Them little niggas, excuse my language. We just roam in the streets at night by themselves. Go up to the man and go up to Brooks. And and it's like where the like where are the parents at? Where are the mothers? Like they showed up like bits and pieces in the movie. Then when the contracts came, the dude said we're gonna give five hundred dollars and a signing bonus, you know. They didn't even read the contracts. Like the mothers was there when the contracts came. And then when the when the check came, it was a dollar and eighty seven cent. Like they were screwing people over in the eighties. Like, yo, it was like I really I really was shocked because I didn't know it was like that. That's why I see I see why a lot of cats stay independent now, because you know your money gonna be a but I'm more focused, like, and then fast forward, um, the dude, was like, yo, you got to, the mothers came to the manager, was talking to the manager, like, yo, where's our money for our kids? Like, they doing all these shows and touring, and they're not getting anything. Like, I'm the manager. You need to go talk to the booking agent, blah, blah, blah. They're, you know, First of all, I didn't even know Lala was in this movie until I saw it. Like, wait a minute, she's in here too? Um, but I'm sitting back looking like this movie was good as hell. And that was just this was that, that was just episode one. There's two more. Um uh, I don't know how they're doing it. I mean, I guess they're doing it weekly or every uh, every day or whatever, but Long story short, this movie was epic, yo. I mean, this movie, overall, this movie was great. And I'm not going to make this video long, but this movie was great. I mean, it was so many freaking commercials. They were like, as soon as they started singing Candy Girl, it went to a commercial. Like, BT going to milk that. Like, we going to make y'all niggas sit back and watch this movie. But, like, this movie was epic. Like, it was everything I thought it was going to be. You know, it's... It, 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 it's, it's really good and, and Black Twitter was just having a field day with this one, they were like I mean, this is what BET needs to do they need to redo that damn Aaliyah movie they, BET BET, please do an Aaliyah movie because that bullshit Wendy Williams did was trash, big fella but yo I'm all over the place with this but this movie was epic I'm still stuck on the dollar and 87 cent. Like, I'm like, that check was, uh, there ain't 
doesn't 187 stand for police call for homicide? They, that was a homicide check. That was a homicide check. 187. That's what that check was. I'm just saying, like that. That was a. But, but the best part of the movie was when. I mean, Phase I Love was in the movie. And they had the, the most tackiest wig on his full head. Like, I, I heard a girl on Facebook say he had a lace front on. And they had. And wait, at the talent show. There was a dude named Dr. Freeze. Like, he was pop-locking in this. He was, you know, getting it. Then the dude got in a cast, got in a coffin. And when he got in the coffin, the crowd blew up. The crowd was cheering. And he, and he lifted about the coffin like, hey, nah, nigga, they cheering for you to get off the stage. But, you know, they lost the competition, but the crowd kept screaming, new edition. They brought him out. They got the contract. But the key part of this was, um, Ralph, yeah, Ralph, yeah, he was like, yo, they want to make him release it, but yo, I'm not doing this without my boys, I'm not, they're the reason I'm here, like, loyalty, that's what I respect, but, um, that was dope for him, like, he, he didn't want to look out for himself, he wasn't about himself, he wanted, I'm bringing everybody on, they was with me, they, the reason I'm here, and I respect that, and, I mean, and then the other part was when they transitioned, like from kids to teenagers, and like from kids to teenagers. That was real. That was really dope how they how they did that. That was like really really cool how the the, the scene cuts and everything. And the kids were actually singing. Like everybody was actually singing. Like I believe they they didn't like do like lip syncing. I believe they actually did their own raw vocal. They really did all their own singing themselves. So that was really dope. And, um, yeah, man, like, it was crazy. And the dude that played Michael Bivens, he sounds like Michael Bivens. That, that, that voice he has, he sounds, even as a kid to the teenage, like, he sounds just like Michael Bivens to a T. That's what I call acting. That's what I call studying the craft. But yo, I'm not gonna make this video too too long, much too too long. But you know, let me know your favorite new additions uh song in the comments. And I'm sorry if I was all over the place in the video, but that video, that movie was pretty good. Let me know how you, did you two things. What was your favorite? No, three. What was your favorite part of the movie? What was your favorite new edition song? And did you or did you not like the movie? Put that in the comments. I'm out. Peace.